In this video, we'll look at how quick and easy it is to design and build dynamic digital experiences using SiteLive Studio and SiteLive modules. So first you need to create a site using Studio. So come into your agency, go to sites, create a new site, give it a name, and then make sure Studio is installed. You don't need to start a site installed for this. That's more of a demo of the platform. Once that's installed, you'll see that your site's ready to use. This is one I created earlier. That you can install modules, but first we're going to go through to the site itself and set it up because currently you'll see that it's blank. There's nothing, there's nothing there when you click view. If we go to admin, the first thing you want to do is set up a template so that it uses Studio. So if we just come into and create a new template, call it Studio, or Main or Home, whatever you want to call it, say so use Studio and click save. This is where you then insert things that are global to the site or the, the layout that you're creating. You might add something into the head um, and into the body as well. So a good example of that would be headers and footers, code snippets. Mm. But we've saved that. We'll now go off to CMS and pages, create a page, call it the home page and apply the studio template. So what that allows you to do is start building using Studio. So if you come to Visual Page Builder, you can then put a hero banner in, let's say. <clears throat> let's drop that in there. And then maybe some features. And that's great for static content. They look great and you can edit those really easily using the um, editor. But what we're really interested in is then using the power of Cyclide and the, the um, dynamic modules. So I've saved that. What you'd then want to go and do is go site settings. From here, you go to the modules tab. And then you start installing the modules that you want. So with our demo site, you can get everything installed and it's a real kind of demo of the whole platform. Whereas this is where you start building sites out using Studio, you just install the things you need. So let's install a blog, because that's quite a, a useful module that would happen that you'd happen to want to use in quite a few sites. So that's installing now. And what happens is it installs the module, but it also installs a default layout to work with um, your studio site. You also need to ensure that the author's module is installed as the two work together. We'll now go back to the site itself. by going to click on admin and under modules, you'll see that both authors and blog have been installed. So if we go to authors quickly, so you need an author to be able to um, publish, well, to publish against a blog post. And I'm just going to put myself in there and I'm going to upload a, a picture. Um, here's where I've uploaded some, some imagery mm. already. So if I'm just going to pick, pick one of those as an author image and click save. So that creates an author. If we now go to blog, we'll just create a couple of blog posts. Post one. Again, we'll just put in, we'll pick an author and we'll pick an image, the list image. This is the main one used for Studio for blog post one. And we'll pick a main a list image as well. So that'll appear in the list of blog posts and this will appear in the detail page. And we'll put some content in there. Save and add new. We'll quickly do post two. Here's the author again, pick a different image. Same for list. And save. So we should be able to view our page now. If we just go back to pages, you, you could do it by going to the home page, but if we click on the page itself, go to page builder. then want to insert the blog module using the blog to layout and I'm going to output all items and insert that. If we click save and click view, here's the static content that we created earlier using Visual Page Builder and then if we scroll down we'll see our new dynamic blog. 
So this shows the list of authors and uh, being able to search for posts. That's dynamically created using me as an author and that will, um, you would be able to view all the different posts linked to me. And this shows the posts that we've just created as well. We can go into that post here. Obviously not the most exciting layout or content at the moment, but you could easily expand on top of that. But this is an example of how you can use Studio out of the box, combine it with Site Glide modules and very quickly build out sites. Thank you.